name is Devin Caro. I am the founder of The Love Spreader, an online positivity organization. You can learn all about it at www.devincaro.com. When I was 16 years old, I was a junior in high school and I was first diagnosed with alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune hair loss disease. I was brushing my hair on a normal Tuesday night, about to go to bed, and I noticed a huge chunk of hair missing from the back of my head. And I never noticed anything like that before. It was extremely terrifying, but I didn't think anything of it, besides the fact that maybe I just brushed my hair too much, or I used too much shampoo and conditioner. I wasn't worried. Fast forward a couple months, I lost all of my hair due to the disease and I had to build myself back up from that situation. I went back to school for the first time after Thanksgiving after my hair was completely gone and I was terrified and scared and I ended up hiding in the bathroom for 15 minutes before class even started because I was so scared to show people what I was like without hair. So that last year of high school was very hard for me. I went through periods of anxiety and depression because I was not used to being stared at, being looked at, being made fun of for something that was out of my control. When I first started to get the disease, I obviously had my full hair, and then I would go to school and it each day be less and less and less. And then there was a point that I was going to school, I didn't have any hair and I wasn't wearing anything. So I, you could see like, my scalp, you could see that I was obviously didn't have any hair anymore. And then I started changing and started wearing wigs and hair pieces and bandanas and scarves to cover it up and to just make myself comfortable. Eventually, after so many years of hiding myself, I decided to make a change and to do something different about it. So I decided to go to the internet because the internet is a way to meet so many people um, of all different backgrounds and ethnicities and ages. and Every person is dealing with their own unique situation. So I made The Love Spreader, which is an online organization, and I started posting videos on YouTube and um, posting inspirational quotes on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook just to reach as many people as possible. Um, and I wanted to promote that it's okay to be who you are and to speak about what you're dealing with, even if it's scary, even if you're not 100% confident in yourself and to take each day as it comes. So I'm still dealing with alopecia. I still have the disease. I'm not confident with myself 100%, but it's all about the individual and making it, making the best out of your situation. So the thing with alopecia is that it's one of those diseases that doesn't have a cure yet. You're not gonna get your full head of hair back as of right now. So it's something that you have to learn to accept. And each day has its own challenges. Some days, like I said, you will feel great about yourself, you'll feel confident, your hair will just fit right, your eyebrows will fill in nicely. And then there's other days when they won't fill in nicely and you'll feel different and you'll feel not comfortable in your own skin. And that's something that you have to get used to. And you have to accept about yourself that not every day is gonna be great, but that you can look forward to the next day and that things will get better and you can push through it. It takes a lot of patience. It's not, people just think, oh yeah, it's easy, you can just throw on a wig every day, just draw on your eyebrows. Yeah, there's some days it's fantastic, because if I want to have curly hair, that's great. If I want to have long purple hair, I had the option to. But you do have to know with alopecia that you have to be patient, try different things, see what works for you, try different eyebrow pencils, try different wig tapes, whatever it is, but eventually you'll get the hang of it and it will be like second nature. It'll be easy just as if you were styling your own hair every day. Just because I wear hair pieces or I do things a certain way or you see people on the internet doing things or even people you know with hair loss or any image related disease, you don't have to do what other people do. You can do whatever makes you happy, what makes you feel confident and what makes you feel like you can get past this disease. If you want to shave your head and go bald, that's great. If you want to wear a scarf or a wig, that's your decision. I think the whole thing with diseases like this is that you have to make it your own and you have to turn it into something you're comfortable with and something that you can embrace.